Hello again everyone, welcome back to Quest for Glory 1. So you want to be a hero, and we are a hero, and we have glory, but not as much as we are going to get. Let's go into the Baron's Hall. And we bow. Why did we bow? Words cannot express the gratitude I have toward you. Not only have you freed the baronet from enchantment and allowed my son to return to me, but you have renown renewed my hope that the curse may be lifted. My son, Baronet Barnard von Spielberg, also desires to acknowledge his indebtedness. Barnard! Well, we are, that is, I am appreciative of your efforts upon my behalf. Furthermore, I understand that you have rid our valley of a dangerous cobalt magic user in order to free the Baronet von Spielberg. You risked your life to single-handedly defeat this, defeat the foul spellcaster. You are a true hero, and I thank you. Bernard. I am pleased you managed to kill the kobold. I sincerely hope you will continue your valiant adventures in our land. If anyone can rid the land of brigands, it will be you. Someday in the near future, I can envision holding a ceremony in your honor and bestowing upon you the title of Hero of Spielberg. Bernard. It would be nice if someone could finally defeat the brigands and claim the title. As you leave the castle tomorrow, you will receive the reward money I long ago posted for the safe return of my son, as a token of my thanks. Sweet. You will, of course, be expected to dine with us and be our guest in the castle tonight. Do you have any questions? Indeed, I do. Uh, I'm not sure if I have if this is uh, timed or not. The Baron von Spielberg looks like he was once a strong man, but sorrow has aged him greatly. The Baronet looks his usual haughty self, although his clothes are a little neater than the last time you saw him. The Great Hall of Spielberg Castle is not very impressive. The room is plain with scuffed floors and grimy plastered walls. Can I look at the pa tapestry? We have no tapestries! The tapestry on the back wall seems to depict some great battle in the past. The Baron grabbed these windows on crusades to Tangiers. Really? The table is prepared for dinner. Do you have timing or what? Let's ask about the castle. This castle has been in the family for two centuries now as a gift from King Siegfried III. Uh, what about the curse? Some years back, I tried to force the ogress Baba Yaga to leave our valley, and she put a curse upon me that I should lose everything I held dear. When I lost my daughter and my son, I lost all interest in living. My land suffered because I suffered. Now, though, with the return of my son, I trust the prophecy is about to come true, thanks to you. What can you tell me about Baba Yaga? I've attempted everything in my power to get her to go away. I fear it will take some kind of magic to be able to counteract her magic. Oh, I'm sure I can do something. What about your daughter? My beautiful little daughter was stolen away ten years ago by Baba Yaga's magic. She has never been, a, been found despite all the searching that has been done for her. I thought she was lost forever, but you have renewed my hope that I will again have her beside me. Uh, what can you tell me about Yorick? Yorick was my court jester, a man of infinite jest. He went off to find my daughter, but alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well, never returned. I know very little about magic, much to my sorrow. Perhaps you should talk to the wizardess, wizard Zara in town, or Erasmus on Zauberberg. I think I have already done that, actually, but uh, thank you for that. Can you tell me about the prophecy? The prophecy states, comes a hero from the east, done that. Free, a, free the man from in the beast. Done that. Bring the child from out the band. Drive the cursor from the land. I haven't done either of those yet. You entered here from the east, and you released my son from the form of a bear. I am certain you will fulfill the rest of it, and remove this dreadful curse. Uh, what can you tell me about yourself, Sir Baron, Sir? I am Stefan von Spielberg, 12th Baron of Spielberg Castle. Um, what can you tell me about the castle? Oh, we've already asked him about that. Uh, what about the brigands? If I had more guards, I could wipe the brigands out myself, now that I have my son at my side. I, I, I'm not sure that that would really do much good, but okay. 
It will take some time before this castle land have recovered from my sorrow. So I still think it will take a hero to destroy the brigands. I know they have some kind of fortress at the far south of the valley. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I have heard rumors that they have set up set an ambush for all that approach. It is also rumored that there is another way into their fortress, but I have no further knowledge about it. How have you heard the rumors? You can tell me about reward. I have offered substantial rewards for the return of my son and my daughter, as well as the, for the leader of the warlock, the leader and warlock of the brigands. What do you know? Do you know anything about the brigand leader? There have always been brigands around, but until the leader and the warlock showed up a few years ago, they were not much of a problem. The leader seems to be a brilliant strategist who manages each raid with little loss. Once the leader is gone, I am sure the brigands can be easily defeated. Uh, do you know anything about the warlock? As if this valley hasn't been plagued with enough evil magic users. From what I have heard, his magic isn't powerful, but it is used effectively. Well, that is the most important thing, to effectively use magic. Um, what can you tell me... Oh, that's right, I can talk to him. What can you tell me about the kobold? I rode off one morning with my men in search of monsters to fight. I got separated from my men when I came across the entrance to the cave. As I entered the kobold, the kobold ordered me to get out. I informed it that I was Baronet Bernard von Spielberg and heir to the lands and all within. I ordered it to bow before me. Then it cast a spell upon me, and I remember very little after that. Yeah, somehow I suspect that was your problem. I would prefer not to talk about that. But, I, th look, this is really important. I must ask you. Do bears... No, okay, never mind. I will soon lead the troops against the brigand and wipe them from this land. He's probably not going to tell me if they do. I am Baronet Barnard van Spielberg, heir to the lands and all within. Good for you. Um, you, rehe you rehearse your award acceptance speech. Oh, I don't. I haven't, I haven't looked back there. Behind the velvet curtains is an alcove leading to the offices of the Baron. A brazier stands ready for the evening's coals. The von Spielberg coat of arms, twin Saurus guarding. Winged chevron on a field azure. The couch must be a precious heirloom. Why else would the Baron keep such an uncomfortable-looking piece of furniture around? The throne of the Baron is an unimpressive wooden high-backed chair. Um... Can I do anything? Can I go upstairs? You'd better stay within the stay in the main hall. It wouldn't be wise to offend the Baron. I don't actually remember what I'm supposed to do at this point. To trigger the uh, next part. Now I don't want to use a hand on him. That might be bad. Uh, let's save it over temp. I haven't looked at that. A vase from the Ding Dynasty, so named because their stoneware makes a pleasant bell-like sound when tapped with a fingernail. How nice. Hey. You're in my way, Baron. Baronet. A servant is awaiting you outside to show you to your quarters. We will see you at supper later. Oh. There we go. I guess I just had to get up into his face. After a wonderful meal with the Baron and his son, a peaceful night's sleep in a feather-down bed, and a filling breakfast in bed, you're ready to go adventuring once more. Ah. It doesn't say anything new. Well! We are almost a hero! I do want to be a hero. Just like the game says. So you want to be a hero. And I do! I am well on my way. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Well, I do still need to um, get the last two ingredients. Um, what is that? Uh, yeah. 
fairy dust and green fur. I guess I'll go do the green fur now. Hey there, Mr. Fur to Ferdin. Yes, you grin. Yes, you grin at me. All right, let's move. Let's get back into running. Whee! I know you're here. Yeah, come on. The goblin has a mean look in its eyes. You prepare for battle. Look! There's one standing behind him! Wait, my MP did not get fully restored? Dick move, game. Dick move. Yep, goblin training ground. Kill one of them, and another one, and... Strange place to take a nap. What's he staring at? This poor slob was the big loser at the poker game. He didn't even have lunch money. Find four silvers tucked in his tunic. He has no use for the silvers anymore. So into your pocket they go. Hey! Yeah, so basically every time you come here, there will be another one in that battle. You basically just kill them all. Uh, as you kill one, the next one will step into line. And uh, I think there's a total of eight that you can fight. But I don't remember for sure. Okay. Let me get back onto my map. I see you guys peeking out at, at me. Alrighty. I sit off the side there. Thank you. Cheetar! Don't you growl at me. Don't you growl at me. I'm going to take your claws. I'm going to declaw you. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Time to be declawed. Yeah. That's what you get. Bad kitty. How many claws did I get? Eight. Not too bad. Alright, let's go this way. I think we fought everything now, actually. Well, just about. What the... You realize that you have never seen more than one green meep at a time. Perhaps there is only one. There seems to be an abundant supply of blue and purple meeps. If only they'd stay still for a moment, you'd be able to count them. The meeps have brightly colored, soft-looking fur. Huh. Brightly colored, soft-looking fur? And green? Hmm. Large, heavy-looking rocks cover the many holes. The meeps must be stronger than they look to lift those rocks so easily. Well... Good. Quickly save it. Can I lift one of these? Hey! Let me in! Aw, that's mean. You hear squeaky muttering from beneath the ground. It seems the meeps are having a, quite a discussion about you. Hiya, hiya! Pleased to meet ya! So you're a meep, huh? We are happy meeps living in our happy holes. Don't worry, be happy. What can you tell me about these rocks? We use the rocks for doors. They keep us dry and warm in our holes. We're like living tunnels under the ground, you know. Um, can I get some of your fur? Hey, like fur is good stuff. Keeps us warm. Mine's the best. It's like green, you know. Yeah, and I could use some green fur. Oh, you want some green fur? I think I have some somewhere. Sweet. What can you tell me about, um... Brigands? Gee, boss, I really don't know much about that at all. Hey, sorry. What about magic? I found a scroll lying around in the woods one day. 
You want it? It's yours. Uh, yeah, actually. Oh, sweet. What are you tell me about the scroll? That thing I found it lying in the woods one day. You want it? It's yours. Nope. Ah, uh, he's done talking to me. All right. Well, let's get the green fur. You pick up the green fur. Nice. You pick up the spell scroll. As the magic runes fade, you find you now know how to cast the detect magic spell. Woohoo! See if uh, anything went up. Well, my weapon use and strength have gone up quite a bit. Intelligence is up. Let's take a look at the detect magic spell. You possess the detect magic spell. Your expertise is 10. You will use two magic points every time, each time you cast the spell. Well, let's cast it right now. See if there's anything magical here. You sense no magic in this area. Well, that's kind of disappointing. How are I, I forgot to look at my strength and or my oh health and stamina. Not bad. In fact, I think it might be time to kill some more goblins. Hey, goblins! Yes. I am back. You want to train? You want to train? I got some training for you. Look! Now there's two of them behind him. And he just steps forward. Yep. Right into my blade. Ah, good times. <laughs> A good goblin! The only good goblin is a dead goblin. Does anyone know CPR? Find five silvers concealed in a pouch. You take the silvers. Clutched in his hand are four silvers. You take the money. Take the money and run, man! In this goblin's left shoe, you find eight silvers. You look around and slip the silvers into your pocket. <laughs> this place isn't too bad for money either, especially once you start getting more of them. Hey! I see you there. Naughty goblins. Alright, let's get back to running. Alright, well, unfortunately, it's pretty early in the day, isn't it? Mid-morning. Well, yeah, it's still fairly early. But I suppose I could do... Oh, I know what I could do. First of all, let's go see the healer lady again. You can stop moving every time I come into the place that prevents me from accessing my inventory. Well, let's sell the cheetah claws first. Do 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 do. Getting money. Okay, that's enough. Um, let's give you green fur. Those meeps sound so interesting. I'd like to meet them sometime. I'll get to work on that potion of yours. Let's see, to make the dispel potion, I still need fairy dust. Alright, well, we'll have to do that at some point. How are we on weight? 80 pounds. Oh, 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 so overloaded. You know what? Actually, how many rocks do I have? 15 small. Oh, that, yeah, I, I need to get rid of some of those. Alright, so there's a couple things that I can do, a couple ways to do something coming up. Anything coming on screen? Yes! Ha ha ha! Let's go this way. Come here. Come here. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. Come here, Mr. Brigand. Where are you? Should be coming. Shouldn't have lost him. Did I lose him? Maybe? Oh, 
Oh, I think I did lose him. Boo. Ah, well. Okay, for this part, let's go ahead and uh, save it as... Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this. Um, first of all... Let's see if I get points for doing it this way first. Okay, I didn't, but uh, you saw that ladder appear there, right? Rock makes a sharp sound as it hits the door. Rap! Rap! There's someone there! Oh, hello! Come right up! Just climb the ladder! Okay, so there's no points either way. But that's how you do it. Um, now that you know the ladder is there... You won't uh, slide. Now, you saw how wide that door opened, right? There we go. You knock three times. A voice from inside says, Just a minute! Just a minute! Please move away from the door! I've done... I, I'm, I'm away from the door. I got a point, though. Oh, hello! Go on in! Hello! How are you? Have we met before? I'm Henry the Hermit. That's me. Me father was an hermit, and me mother was an hermit, so I has come by my job rightly. Don't have too many visitors. Hermits don't, you know. Part of the job description. I likes to see a new face, though. Good to hear another's words speaking besides myself. So is what can I do for you? Well... I think we'll talk to him in the next episode. Welcome to Henry the Hermit's Hovel. Abode? No, Hovel. Henry the Hermit's Hovel. Home? Henry the Hermit's Home. Yeah. Sounds better. Alrighty. Well, 